is our right as leaders to do so. That's what we came to do. But police, as usual, mobilized to come and uh, disrupt and uh, visit violence on us. And you can see every stop, where every place we want them to stop and rest people before even we do, Tiangas is being thrown from uh, Makutano, Latimene, uh, where we, we, we started, to Mudara, to Kangeta, to Lare, to Mailitatu, everywhere we stopped. And, uh, and it was needless because there was no violence. Citizens were responding because they are all facing the same problems everybody in the country is facing. But we are happy because we have been able to establish, because there are people who, who keep cheating, people that Meru and Mount Kenya are not in these things. They are. They are facing economic hardship like everybody else. There is no fuel that is cheaper in Meru or cheaper in Mount Kenya and then more expensive in Nyansa or in Western Kenya. Everybody is facing the hardships that this regime has visited on us. Matatus, people cannot even afford to take a matatu to, to town anymore. Bonda bondas are being packed because they can't afford fuel. If you are paying 200 to fuel a bonda bonda, there is no ordinary person in this country who can pay 100 shillings, 150 to move from the local market to his home. So the youth are packing bonda bondas now because there is no business. And the regime is not listening. So we are going to continue to work with the people to ensure that the constitutional state that was created by our forefathers and those who followed thereafter is not dismantled.